We have the dueling legislators with us. Let's welcome back to the show First Representative Daryl Medcalf, Republican from Butler County. He's with us on the Big Talker 1210. Mr. Representative, welcome back. Good to be with you, Dom. And we also have Senator Daylin Leach, Democrat, Delaware, Montgomery counties. He's back with us, too, on the Big Talker 1210. Senator, welcome back in. Hey, Dom, it's good to be here with you. Well, if I had to guess, you two guys would be the two suspects who would take the Arizona thing and shift it here to Pennsylvania. So let me ask you this. Did you preemptively, Daylin Leach, figure out that Daryl Medcalf would be moving on that? Or Daryl Medcalf, did you preemptively do this before Leach could get his uh, law, his uh, bill in there? Well, I've been working on this issue for a number of years, as you know, right. Tom. Interviewing in the past, I founded State Legislators for Legal Immigration. I've been working with Senator Russell Pierce from Arizona, who actually was the driving force in Arizona be behind the most recent changes that are being pushed forward to protect American lives, liberty, and property. And uh, I, I've been, you know, actually met with Russell in December down at a Numbers USA uh, uh, get together that we both spoke at. And we've been working with state legislators across the country to put out legislation that will actually help to end the illegal alien invasion. And that's exactly what this Arizona model legislation does that we just introduced also here in Pennsylvania. Now, let me ask before we go to Dalen Leach, uh, Daryl Medcalf. So is your legislation tracking the Arizona bill, which is trying to track the federal bill, or is there any difference? Well, my the legislation that we've introduced here in Pennsylvania is a model after the Arizona law, uh, both the most recent signed in the law provisions and previously signed in the law provisions that require businesses to use E-Verify, require if you sign up for public benefits that you have to go through the save system to make sure that you actually are a legal resident and entitled to those benefits would, would create a new uh, violation of state law. If somebody is here on our soil, they've not registered, registered to be here as they're required to do under federal law that we would now have a state law provision that they would be in violation of. And it really, in a sense, takes the confusion out of the mix that law enforcement officers have now with some of the sanctuary city-type policies that are promoted by people, uh, different bureaucrats and elected officials, and, 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 and the kind that Dale and Leach would like to have in place as a sanctuary city. But it takes the handcuffs off of police officers and puts it on the illegal alien. All right, let's go to Dale and Leach. Uh, Mr. Uh, Senator Leach, uh, J.D. Hayworth uh, out there running against John McCain, They're trying to take away uh, sanctuary cities or de facto sanctuary cities and I think there's a lot of traction for that in Pennsylvania. What objection would you have to that? Well, there's a lot of objections. First of all, there is no sanctuary city that I'm involved in. I don't know what Daryl was talking about, but I will tell you this. There are two big, there are, there are several big problems with the Arizona law. First of all, for the first time in 50 years, it makes your race or ethnicity a legal factor for police to use to determine whether you should be investigated for a crime. We haven't had that for 50 years in this country since the Jim Crow laws were eliminated. Uh, what, what it says is that race can't be the sole factor, but it can be a factor among others. Um, and what that means is a police officer who approaches somebody uh, or, or just happens to run into somebody can, 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 can ask them for immigration papers, which they do not have the power to do uh, in Pennsylvania. Now, who do you suppose they're going to ask for immigration papers? Papers. I can tell you that I will never be asked for immigration papers. I'm Caucasian. I don't have a foreign accent. I don't have a foreign-sounding name. I could get caught for speeding or get in a fight in a bar or do whatever it is. No one's going to ask to see my papers. Who they will ask to see are people who are Hispanic or people who are Arab or people who look different. Okay, let me ask, let me ask Medcalf, names. Representative Medcalf. That's the big objection, that when this really gets out there in the real world, even though I agree with it, but I, I'm given a, a bit of... Um, Caution, when it gets out there in the real world, it's Hispanics, essentially, if not 100%, who are going to be the ultimate targets of this right there in the real world every day. But that actually, the Dalen is you know, not up to date on all the changes that are actually occurring in Arizona because the word soul was in the original legislation. They couldn't be the soul, but they're actually working to remove that one word because there has been, you know, Dalen's type of objection, which it was never meant to be because the rest of the legislation is clear that you cannot racially or ethnically profile anybody. This is I, I, I get that. I get that. I, I get that, Daryl Metcalf. But it, it, how about the point that I'm a little bit sensitive to that he raises, which is in the everyday world, though, isn't that what will happen? Won't Hispanics? The argument is be the ones in Arizona, at least, that are asked for this. I would say no, because the way that we've written the legislation and the way that we've written it here, and the way that it's going to ultimately be 
um, in Arizona, the way that they, because they do have some amendments that they were tweaking some of the language recently, as I understand. They have to be stopped for a violation of the law, and if the officer during that investigation would have suspicions uh, that uh, you actually are an illegal alien and then pursue um, finding out whether or not you are by pursuing the, the federal registries and the federal enforcement uh, to, to query that to make sure that you're here legally or not. All right, Daywin Leach? If, if I can respond, first of all, I don't use the word alien. I find it's very troubling when we try to dehumanize people. These aren't people from outer space. They're human beings. But putting That's that aside... That's a legal term, Dale. But term. I, I'm just I'm just telling you what I choose to to, to, to say. Uh, now, what what I, what I would say about what Daryl's saying is, if you're not going to use race or ethnicity as a factor to believe a person may be a, an undocumented worker or an undocumented uh, immigrant, then immigrant look like. Let's say I am pulled over uh, for speeding. That that's happened to me in my life. There's nothing about me that would tell a police officer I'm an illegal immigrant. Uh, as Daryl has said on another show we did, well, some people spontaneously confess. If they do that, fine. If that's if fine. If, if this law only applies to people who spontaneously confess, I probably wouldn't have as much of a problem. All with right, it. Daniel, let me but, take it one step further. Suppose they have a lot of trouble with English. I interviewed a guy out there that could barely speak English as one of the demonstrators in the Capitol. How, how is that as a signal that there's probably something here the cop wants to ask him? Well, I would first of all, I would remind people that uh, Hispanics in this country overwhelmingly are here legally. They're either citizens or here legally. Uh, the, it's the small minority that are undocumented uh, uh, immigrants. That said, again, you know, if I have an accent, if I, if the police officer is, does not feel that I'm speaking as uh, clearly as he's used to hearing, which is something I would probably be doing, he's going to he's going to ask that. I don't know how that's not racial profiling. The other, by the way, quick objection, if I could say, is that it gives state and local authorities the obligation to investigate these things and makes it a state crime. There's a reason that the INS is in charge of that because local police are are charged with stopping street that's, crime. They have to form that's, relationships. That's, that's if I can just finish the sentence, that's, they have to form that's, relationships that's, with people in the neighborhood, and and people are not going to form relationships with the police uh, if they feel that they're going to be investigated for immigration matters or whatever, and it's going to make it harder for police to do their job. Hi, right, Daryl, go ahead. Local law enforcement in this legislation would be charged with investigating if somebody is here legally or not, if they're a legal, legal citizen, but, but if they're a legal resident. But that wouldn't be, mean that they actually are the ones that are going to be making that judgment. They're going to deal with ICE and deal with the federal government officials that actually have those databases and will make that decision. Local law enforcement will not be making that decision. But it, at the end of the day, when you take those who are breaking our law, disrespecting our law, violating the rule of law off the streets, you have a more, you have a better society. You have a society that there's less lawbreakers in, and a, and a better quality of life for the residents that are here. And you, you do away but, but, with, with much of the crime that's on the streets now for people who shouldn't be here in the first place. Gentlemen, I'm going to have to call, I, I have to, I have to call a time out here and ask you a, a political question now. So, Daylon Leach, you have this bill in. Give me a sense of the process, what's happening with that support, where it goes next. Give, give our listeners well, what, a sense. What, what happens is every bill is referred to a committee. Right. And frankly, we're not moving many bills this year because we have the budget situation. And then when that's done, there's summer recess. And then it's an election year, not for me, but for most people. So when we come back, we're only going to come back for a couple of weeks in uh, late September, early October. And we're not having what they call a sign of die session, which means after the election. So there's really only a couple of weeks to actually consider legislation this year. So I'm, I'm not sure anything's passing this year, but I do think it's a debate that we'll be having for years to come. Well, I have to say you two guys are two of the best people I can have to debate just about any issue, and I'm glad that you're uh, gentlemen that you get along together. Daylon Leach, thank you as always for coming on, and Daryl Metcalf, the same thing. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you, Tom. Have a good evening. All right, uh, Daryl Metcalf and Daylon Leach with us. Uh, coming up, we'll talk with.